Hello everyone! Today we will be making a very popular Czech dessert called pernik, which I will translate as a spice cake because we will be using these amazing spices. So let's start with the recipe. We will need one and a half cups all-purpose flour, one cup granulated sugar, and now for the spices. Uh, when you go to the Czech Republic, you can go to any grocery store and you will find this special packet, which is called Kipřici Prášek do Perníku. And it's a spice mix with a baking powder already mixed together. So if you do have this packet, then you will, use, you will use half a package, which is one tablespoon. And if you don't, then here are the spices and I worked really hard to come up with the similar taste. Uh, that you can also use spices that uh, are easily found in any grocery store. Uh, I like to use whole spices and then ground it myself. Uh, if you don't have whole, I also provide measurements for ground. So you will need 10 cloves, which is one fourth of a teaspoon ground, one whole cinnamon stick, which is one teaspoon ground, 10 allspice, which is half a teaspoon ground, and if you can find this anise star, then you, you get two and use it. But if you don't, then just skip it because I know not every grocery store has them. Then we will need half a teaspoon anise seeds and half a teaspoon fennel seeds. And those are the ones that we will ground together and it will smell so amazing and give this cake incredible flavor. Then we will need two teaspoons of baking powder three tablespoons unsweetened cocoa powder, two eggs, one third of a cup oil, one fourth of a cup walnuts, and then I will be baking it in this uh, baking dish, which is nine by 13, and I like to use glass, and I will put butter and flour. So this is all the ingredients, and if you wanna have a, the list of the ingredients, then you go to my website, and I will put the link under the video on YouTube, YouTube in the description, so you can just click on it and it will take you there. So let's start. And also, if you want to have it even more amazing, then you can use chocolate frosting. I have a recipe how to make your own homemade and it's incredible flavor. Or if not, then you can just put powdered sugar on top. So let's start. And I almost completely forgot that we will need one cup of milk. So now we will butter up our tray. We'll go also on the sides here. Now we'll put flour on the bottom. I like to use more coarse flour, which is Vondra. But if you don't have Vondra, you can use just all-purpose flour. And it works really well with using a small strainer. And you can just like uh, do it all over. And I'll just pick it up and put it like this on the sides. To cover the whole tray and I usually do it over the sink because I'm already making a mess but that's all good it's perfect and now you can uh, put back uh, the rest or just put it over the sink and the tray is ready before we start mixing everything together let's preheat the oven to 350 let's add one and a half uh, cups all-purpose flour, one cup granulated sugar, two teaspoons baking powder. Now we will need three tablespoons of uh, unsweetened cocoa powder, but we will need to sift it through a small strainer uh, because uh, we don't want large clumps of the cocoa in our cake because it doesn't mix too well and I just kind of like go through this it's, it's a small strainer so let's set this aside and now we will uh, mix our spices and I have here a coffee grinder and I have two one is just for coffee and one is for spices only this way the flavors don't mix together and here is my spices, so we have 10 allspice, 2 anise stars, 10 cloves, 
Cinnamon stick usually, if you just put it like this, it won't uh, get ground really well. Uh, so you will need to break it and it's hard to break it. So I have here a rolling pin and I will just hit it like this and now it will be easier to break in half. Now we will add half a teaspoon anise seeds, half a teaspoon fennel seeds and let's mix this all together. I think this is good it's perfect look at that and we'll be adding this to our bowl and I also will try to get as much out of the cover and we will add it into this bowl the smell is incredible let's mix all of this together so the baking powder can be nicely mixed in for an even cake. Let's chop uh, one fourth of a cup of walnuts to smaller pieces. So let's add chopped walnuts, two eggs, one third of a cup oil and one cup milk. I'll be using my KitchenAid mixer, so let's uh, mix it all together. First on slow, so it doesn't splash everywhere. Sometimes I pause it. Should be good now. And you don't want to over mix it, so you don't have uh, dry cakes. Uh, but let's just combine it all together. So we can get all nicely mixed. And this is it. I can see it's already mixed. There might be still a little bit of dry ingredients on the bottom, but I will mix it with spatula. So what I like to do, I like to mix it like that, because on the bottom, it not always it can get mixed. So we don't end up with some dry clumps. This looks good. And now we can put it in our prepared baking dish. I'll spread it evenly and the rest I love to lick. Who likes to lick it also? Do you? I love it. And now the oven is already preheated to 350 and let's bake it for half an hour. Half an hour is done so let's get it out and you can also test how your oven bake and test it with a wooden skewer and if it comes out clean like it does then it's done now you have to let it sit here uh, especially if you want to do chocolate frosting because otherwise uh, the butter would melt all over and the whole frosting would just be too runny uh, if you want to use just powdered sugar you can just let it sit for a little bit and then you can feast so let's test this amazing cake so now the cake is cooled off and it's uh, time to taste test and I already know how amazing it is. So let's go for it. It has a nice height. Mmm, it's still a little warm. It's amazing. Mmm, the, the combination of the spices, it's incredible with the cocoa, the crispiness of the walnuts, it's just perfect blend. And I hope you give it a try because this is just out of this world amazing. So have a great rest of the day and let me know if you try it. I would love to see your photos and hear how much you enjoyed it. Bye guys, I probably have powdered sugar all over my face. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>